Kia ora lovelies and welcome to your full body stretch workout video. This is going to be a real short one and perfect for pre-workout, post-workout and if you're feeling a little bit sore after one of my workouts, this is perfect for the next day, okay? So let's get straight into it. We're going to start in a sitting position so you can sit cross-legged. You're also welcome to pop a cushion underneath you and sit up on your knees if that is more comfortable. So just getting into whatever seated position works for you today and just start by taking a really lovely, beautiful, big breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Awesome. We're going to make sure we're sitting up nice and tall in the spine, dropping the head down towards the chest and feeling that stretch in the back of the neck. And then you can just start to roll the head side to side, nice and gentle. There's no need to push. Just doing little semicircles. And if you're feeling like it, you can take it into a full circle, but just be very aware of the back of the neck. Make sure you're not crunching, staying nice and engaged. And continuing with those beautiful big breaths. So your neck might be a little bit sore today, so just be gentle. And if you've been doing circles, we're going to reverse back the other way. Loosening up through the neck. Awesome. Coming all the way back into center. Big inhale, lifts the shoulders up to the ears and circles around to the back. And again, all the way up and down. One more. Beautiful. And reverse the other way. So squeezing those shoulder blades as they come up through the back. Beautiful step. We're going to open our arms up to the side, sitting up nice and tall bringing the right arm across the body, lock that arm in at the elbow. Try and keep the shoulder nice and low, sitting up nice and tall, and take your gaze over the right shoulder. So feeling that stretch through the right shoulder and the back, I like to add some movement in here, it feels really good. Maybe finding somewhere just over here, it might be over here. Feeling that stretch. Beautiful stuff. And when you're ready, we're going to open up those arms again. This time, bring the fingertips to the back and just really open up the chest. Lift the chin. Feel that opening. Beautiful. Raising those arms up. Left arm comes across this time, locking in with the right arm. Drop the shoulder down and take your gaze over to the left. And when you're ready, finding that gentle, easy movement, if it feels good for you today. Awesome stuff. And here we go again. When you're ready, we're going to open up those arms. Big inhale. And as we exhale, lifting the chest, taking those fingertips behind. Feeling those shoulders, maybe wiggling a little side to side. So there's nothing wrong with having a bit of a play and finding what feels good for you. I really encourage you to explore these. Okay, arms are going to come up and overhead, sitting up beautiful and tall, and then we're going to bend our elbows, grab a hold of the left elbow with your right hand, and walk the left hand down the spine. Keep the chest nice and open, and again, maybe taking it to the side here. You might be super sore, and this might be enough, otherwise you might want to take it just to the side. Having a little play, a little sway. I am super sore today, so this is just feeling good in my whole body. Mm. 
Beautiful. Take those arms up high and swapping over. So grabbing a hold of that right elbow this time, opening up through the chest, sitting up nice and tall. And then if it's feeling right, going for that sway, finding that movement, maybe going over to the left. Remember, keep that chest nice and open. Beautiful stuff. Raising those arms up, we're gonna ball our hands into fists now and just start making some circles with the wrists. Mine are all clicky. And rotating back the other way. Awesome work. Okay, we're going to bring our hands down onto our knees now. We're going to do some seated cat cows just to work on our spine a little bit. So we're going to inhale, reach the chest forwards, open up, squeeze the shoulder blades to the back as you inhale. And as you exhale, round backwards through the spine, tuck the belly in towards the spine, drop the chin to the chest. And inhale brings you forwards. Beautiful. And just moving with your own breath now, coming back and forth. You should be feeling this in your whole torso. It should feel super yummy. Coming back and forth. Here we go. Last one. Exhale. Beautiful. Coming up into your seat, we're going to spread those arms out again to the side, sitting up beautiful and tall. Inhale, exhale, twist over to the right side. Left fingertips come to the right knee, right fingertips come behind. Lengthen up through the spine and take your gaze over the right shoulder. Beautiful. Again, for me, I really love my movement. I don't like staying still too much. It feels really good for my body and I find that I can find lots of different little creaky bits that really need a good stretch. So feel free to have a play. Awesome. Inhale back through center. And exhale, twisting to the left. Right fingertips come to the left knee, left fingertips behind, sitting up beautiful and tall. Gaze is over the left shoulder. And again, maybe finding that gentle moving, rocking, swaying, listening to your body. Awesome. Inhale brings you back to center. Exhale, right fingertips come down onto the ground and we're gonna reach the left arm up and over. So you're welcome here, this might be enough for you. You're also welcome to slide down onto your forearm and take it a little deeper. Just try to make sure this knee isn't following you as you come over, keep driving it down into the ground, keeping the chest open. You can look up here if it feels good. Big side stretch. And inhale all the way. We're going to cartwheel over to the left. Same thing on this side, reaching over. And maybe sliding down onto the forearm. If not, nothing to worry about. Remember driving that right knee down into the ground. Awesome work. Coming all the way back up through to center. So we're going to open up the left leg this time and take it out into a straddle to the side, keeping the right foot tucked in close to the body. And we're just going to start by flexing and pointing the toes of the left leg. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall again. You're welcome to bring the flesh from under your seat to make it a little bit more comfortable. We're going to take a big inhale as we flex the toes up towards the sky, lift the arms and on the exhale, bending at the hips, belly towards the thigh, 
head towards the feet. As we come down, try and keep the back lovely and straight. Go as far as you can go without rounding that spine. And it doesn't matter how far you can go, you might be here, that's great. And then when you're ready, take a big exhale, round the spine, drop the head, come all the way down. And breathe in here. Keep those toes pointed up. And like I said, you might be here, and that is absolutely fine. We're just going as far as you can feel the stretch today. Make sure you're breathing. Sending love to all those muscles. And we're going to inhale all the way up. Beautiful. Relax the arms down. We're going to swap over onto the other side. Right leg is long. Left leg is tucked. We're going to flex and point those toes on the right foot. Just making sure we're nice and comfortable again. And here we go. Big inhale brings you up. And exhale, bending at the hips, coming down. Keep that back as straight as you can for as long as you possibly can without rounding. And when you're ready, let it all go. Let gravity do its thing and come on down. So when we're stretching, make sure when you're inhaling, you're going easy. And on the exhale, you can try and push a little bit deeper. Beautiful stuff. Awesome. When you're ready, inhale, lift you all the way up. And now we're going to bring our feet together. Knees are open nice and wide for our butterfly. So you can be in a butterfly or a cobbler's pose. Cobbler is more space between your legs, so your feet are further away. Butterfly is feet nice and close to you. Whatever is comfortable for you today. We're going to push our elbows into the knees. And here is a perfect opportunity to give yourself a little foot massage. So just opening up those hips, giving them a big old stretch, whilst also giving your feet some love. I'm not sure if you can hear, but we've got Molly snoring in the background. <laughs> Molly is my dog for anybody who doesn't know. Beautiful. All right. So we're going to keep those elbows in there. We're going to let gravity do its thing. And we're going to drop our head down and take three big breaths here. Breathing in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Beautiful. And release. Coming all the way back up. We're going to make our way over onto all fours. Just checking that our knees are underneath our hips and our hands are underneath our shoulders. We're going to drop our belly, lift our chin as we inhale for our cat cow. Rounding the smart spine as you exhale. Inhaling, dropping the belly. Beautiful work. Make sure you're spreading through all 10 fingertips. Pushing through the backs of the feet. Awesome. Giving your back some love. Okay, one more. Inhale. Beautiful. Coming all the way back into neutral. We're going to go for what my kids in my kids classes called disco cat so that's making big circles with our head and our torso this feels super yummy take it really nice and slow really feeling into every little nook and cranny we're 
still moving with the breath. And then we're going to change direction. Beautiful stuff. All righty, from here, curling your back toes under, we're going to push up off our hands, lift the bum nice and high into a downward facing dog. And from here, pedal it out. This should feel amazing for your legs. So dropping one heel down, bending the other leg and swapping. Pushing off the hands, push it back. Breathing deep. If your wrists are hurting, it's okay. We're going to come down in just a moment. Give those legs a little bit more love. Awesome work. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to take our left leg up high just for a moment, just as high as you can take it. We're going to bring the knee through and come to sit down in a pigeon pose. So you're welcome to keep this foot nice and tucked. If you want more of a stretch today, bring the foot out at a right angle. Okay, so wherever you are, sitting up nice and tall, don't let your butt be lazy and drop onto the side, sitting up beautiful and tall. Big breath in, we're gonna place the left hand down in front of us as we reach the right fingertips up high. On the exhale, thread the needle, right hand comes between your arm and your knee and slide down onto your shoulder. So this is a really big, beautiful stretch, really good for the glutes, really good for the back. Breathing deep here. If this is way too much for you, you can just focus on working your way down, make a pillow with your hands and relax your head. And if this is too much, you can just stay here. So whichever variation, we're just going to breathe it out here for a moment. Maybe we play with that left arm, drawing some circles. Maybe we take it into a bind behind the back, opening up the chest. So again, I encourage you to play and find what feels good for you. And this is one of my favorite stretches. I could stay here for hours and hours and hours. But we have other stretches to do. So when you're ready, we're going to plant that left hand down again. Reach up, stretch, reach for the sky. Replace the right hand down. Curl the right toes under, pushing up and back into our downward facing dog again. Beautiful. Give those legs a little pedal again. And this time, we're going to plant the left leg, reach the right toes up just for a moment, and then bend the knee, bring that leg through. Same on this side. You can keep that foot tucked nice and close, or you can bring it out at a right angle, sitting up beautiful and tall. Awesome. Getting into it. Here we go. Finding your variation. Maybe the right hand comes down onto the floor left fingertips reach up high and we thread the needle through and remember it's likely to feel different on each side our bodies are different it might be tighter on this side it might be easier on this side but just being aware no judgment and maybe we'll take this arm for some circles again Maybe we'll find that bind and open up through the shoulder. So just having a play, finding what feels good for you today. Feeling that lovely stretch through the glutes.
And when you're ready, replacing your right hand down, reaching those left fingertips up nice and high. Awesome work. Plant the hands, curl the left toes under, kick it back into your downward facing dog. Pedaling it out. We're going to go for one of my other favorite things to do is my sexy walk up. So we're going to cross right foot over to the left. Left foot is going to come over to the right. So you can make this a really small movement. This might be enough of a stretch. I really like to get real deep and take it. So when I cross my right leg over, I really drop my hips over to the side, push away with my hands. This is a beautiful full body stretch in itself. Crossing and pushing. And we're slowly going to make our way all the way up to our hands. You can take your time getting here. And when you get here, you may need to bend your knees generously for your hands to reach the floor and that is fine. Wherever you're at, it's absolutely perfect. And from here, placing both hands on the ground, we're going to take it in turns, walking it out, just like we did with our downward facing dog. Stretching it out one leg at a time. This should feel real, real yummy. I'm also dropping my hip as I come down as well. So I'm getting that stretch all the way through my legs. Beautiful stuff. Okay, now we're gonna bend both knees very generously. Right hand is gonna come down onto the floor. Left hand is gonna start to slide up. And as it does, we're gonna straighten the left leg, left arm comes up right leg stays bent big intense stretch here breathe deep you're doing awesome we're nearly done beautiful bend both knees swap hands left hand comes down this time right hand reaches up right leg straightens reach the fingertips up high breathe 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 smile it's not that bad Beautiful, coming all the way down, bend those knees and roll your way up, starting from the legs, going through the vertebrae one by one, coming all the way up to stand. You have to shimmy all the way back now. Once you're up, we're gonna reach our fingertips up nice and high, grab a hold of your left wrist, and your legs can be hip distance apart or close together, up to you. And we're pulling over to the right side. So keep that chest open. Big side stretch. Awesome. Coming back through center, swapping over, grab the right wrist this time, pull over to the left. Beautiful. And release. All right, we're gonna take our right foot forward this time. Bend the back left knee and flex the right toes towards your face. And then push your bum up towards the sky. So I really think about lifting that left butt cheek up and you should feel this beautiful stretch all through the right leg. Awesome work. Keep twisting that butthole up towards the ceiling. Awesome, and release, and we're gonna swap sides. So this time we're gonna go left foot forwards, bend the right knee, flex the left toes, and then twist that butt up towards the sky. Big stretch through the calves. Great work, everybody. All right, and release. Take the legs hip distance apart. And we're gonna go for some washing machine. So twisting the body, let your gaze follow your hands as they come around 
and just tap you on the bum, loosening everything up. And to finish, we're going to shake it out. So give everything a good old shake, fingers, feet, toes, legs, belly, bum, chest. You can even give your head a little bit of a shake. Just loosen everything up. <sighs> and we are done for our full body stretch. Awesome work, everybody. I hope you are feeling really good after that. Um, please check out what I have on offer. I have lots of online classes, lots of live classes, and hopefully lots more videos to post on here too. So thank you for joining me. I hope you feel fabulous. Uh, feel free to comment and share. Mm -hmm.